Good music, isn't it? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. my very own creation. What's up, peeps? Yeah, that's it. We got our own soundtrack. Yeah, I was working hard today making a soundtrack. A little bit of background noise. A little bit of background for Just a little a bit, bit of band. Yeah, atmosphere filler. No more royalty free music. Something a bit relaxed while you're listening to us two med bastards. <laughs> Probably <laughs> should. Yeah, so no cold open this time, like slowly pressing the car button while we're speaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there probably will be that eventually. <laughs> What's the crack anyway? Welcome back to Beta Band. What's up? Back on track. Back weekly on. episodes. Yeah. Don't well, know where weekly, weekly episodes <laughs> of. We decided we're not going to try and structure it too much all the time. We're just going to shoot the shit. Yeah, kind of like with me and Tom. There was like sprinkles of game, but we think we just shut yeah, it on a bit. We enjoyed that cartoon one yeah. as well. The cartoon one was Top good. Top of the dome. I only listened to it back. I was in bits laughing. <laughs> it's a bit weird listening to yourself. Show you talk. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Because I don't listen. I don't really listen to myself. I don't watch myself either. Same, so same as myself, really. Like, I have a look the odd time, but yeah, it's always weird for a performer to watch watch themselves back I think I just, I'm not into it like when we done the film I had to watch that film three fucking times and it was oh, <laughs> it killed me each time oh but damn oh, no. so I yeah well, I don't listen so I didn't know if, like if you listen to this on Spotify or anything, if you don't if you don't listen on YouTube which is now up to date by the way oh yeah the YouTube I'm channel is now. up to date yeah bit about if we got a new picture we got our new like logo that yeah, as well as blue that, thing yeah, is gone I'm going to be designing a couple of new logos as well yeah. just to sound Wes is going to do his own. So I found something well. I can do now <laughs> <laughs> to contribute. But I didn't know if you listen on Anchor or anything like that, there's like, or like, because it comes from Anchor, there's like, your one comes in at the end going, you listen to a podcast made on Anchor. Yeah. You know you listen to Anchor.com. They're just using us for this. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't make it on Anchor. <laughs> <laughs> but we use Anchor. Thanks, Anchor. We use Anchor to upload. But Listen. I didn't know, like, if you're, hopefully you don't use as a sleep aid to go asleep at night and then when we go, bye. Yeah, but that's alright, because like, then we'll be on the bed. Welcome to Anchor! <laughs> dreaming about us. Don't we should start it. putting subliminal messages in this now, just in case. <laughs> Kiss your money. <laughs> Go buy donuts. Yeah. But uh, anyway, what is the crack? Yeah, what's starting? So, I, we were just made this on the fly, because, um, yeah, Anthem came out. We're not going to talk about Anthem, as in what the game is like. Yeah, we heard some recent news in the gaming world about Ooh. this game, Anthem. Now, I actually don't know anything about it. Louis knows more. Anthem's a cover. It's like the Division, Destiny, that type of thing. It actually sounds pretty alright. But it should have. Yeah. But it's like behind the times when the Division and Destiny came out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, it could have came out ten years ago and it wouldn't have really made a difference. It's just... It's a whole lot of nothing, basically. Yeah, but we're not yeah. talking about that, okay? If you're into it, you're into it. Talking about what it's doing Anthem, to people's PlayStation. Anthem is breaking PS4s. What the fuck? Yeah, this game is apparently breaking people's PlayStations by freezing the fuck out of it Hit. and just... Yeah, hitting you with an error code. And then some people can't turn the console back. So instead of usually you get an error code, it goes, hey, we got an error code, send Smith report. Yeah, blah, it blah, just blah. comes up error. From like, oh, restart, back, to, back yeah. into the game. This game is making PS4 shit the bed so much another code comes up and then the PlayStation doesn't know what to do so Things it's just going like, good attack. night good <laughs> night gone <laughs> yeah fuck you Not people can't turn on. the consoles back on with their controllers they can't turn the consoles back on pressing the button they have to whip out the plug is there any idea of why no this is happening even EA said we don't know what's going on if you get an error report please submit the report to help us out as much as you can yeah so like what about the makers of Anthem do they know anything about this? No one this? knows. Why are having a clue like what's going when on? when they tested it, did this not happen? This is only happening now with a recent patch update that's coming. So the patch has done something to make the game. Maybe it's a virus. Break. Sony's getting hacked again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. That I happened don't before. Know. I don't know. That was Sony servers. But Anthem, yeah, so... But yeah, Anthem is going so much that some people, when you... If it's if anybody knows anything about this game or it's happened to anyone, let, let us know there. Yeah, what's it, what the crack know. is. And some people are saying now that the PS4s are actually bricked. So when you plug it out and plug it back in, it's not turning back on. Yeah, so until that get, gets fixed, don't fucking... Don't play, don't play the game. <laughs> Your because PlayStation's fucked. You can play other games. The Division 2 is coming out. Play that. Destiny 2 is that out. That game looks the decent, though, the Division 2. I'm looking forward to that. Is it's that on my list or your list in the you got Fantasy the, League? You got the Division 2. Did I? Yeah. yeah, I did, didn't I? Fuck you. <laughs> Louis ahead on it, though. We Louis have a beat point. Me. I thought you said four points. No, I have four. You have three. Oh, what? <laughs> half a point. Yeah. 
Fuck's Speaking sake. of Anthem, Anthem shit the bed with reviews as well and lost me 10 points. Yeah, well, no shit. Like, do you know what I mean? The thing is breaking PlayStation. No, this is before. <laughs> that shit. Fuck's sake. Oh, just the reviews that. not going to go up no, any higher either. I just thought that. <laughs> that's, that's one. No, I that's... think reviews are all out of the way now. That should be done. I don't know. Um, we don't actually. Do we know what games are going are next to come out on the list? Yeah, Shikero, 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 Sekiro, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Yeah, that game does look beast though. Yeah, what I else want that now. I think Days Gone is coming out. Devil May Cry Five was coming out this month. Is Day, Death, I don't know is if Days it? Gone is April or March. I think it might be April actually. But yeah, Sekiro. Anybody into that game? That game looks pretty fucking beast, man. You've your Pokemon game got announced finally. It's not just oh, Pokemon for the Gen release day. It's 2019 and it's called Sword and Shield. So that's Sword and Shield. That's a definite for you. So uh, is it Pokemon and Zelda mixed together? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sword and Shield. Days gone. Um. So there's a few games. Days gone. Out. April 20. April 26. Now that's another one I want as well. Days gone. Yeah. That's next month. But uh, that's a Kiro game. That's we we go back to that. There. That was looks alright. That game, man. That. The boss battles and stuff like that you're showing me. What's that? That's just an antivirus thing popping up, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it looks pretty de- decent. There's a boss battle I've seen on YouTube where he's fighting him on a bridge. Yeah, we're watching that, aren't we? Well, it looks fucking hard, man. You think yeah. at the se- at first you're like, ah, oh, yeah, simple tree move pattern. Beat this fella. Next of all, there's about three, 10 different stages you have to go through after you beat that. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but it looks fucking hard. So I showed it was a bit of Bloodborne because it reminded me of this big, like, stuck out of Bloodborne. And then I tried to get, because we were watching Ninjas and Samurais and all that, so I was like, right, I'll try to get the katana. No. Yeah, good luck. I went down to the well, the big shark boy, and couldn't fucking do it. <laughs> big fucking noise he makes. Rawr! <laughs> Lovely show you. Still haven't got that get sword to this day in that game. Oh, wait, why am I watching Yeah, it's not, and then we found out it's not a katana, actually. It's a fucking cutlass. It's a katana? Is, it's not, it's a cutlass. It's because it's, it's like a pirate sword. There's it's, a dagger and it's it whips yeah, out. I know, but it's not a katana, man. I'm telling you. I've seen it. i seen it. The, the name and all is all oriental. <laughs> i tell you, though, that PlayStation, that's Sek- Sekiro, Sekiro PlayStation. Oh, man. That's, PS4? Yeah, it's a, there's a new PS4 edition. It's lovely looking. Oh, man. It looks beast. I want to get that. It's a lovely one. I've seen somewhere again. I think it's only, oh, I could be wrong. I've seen somewhere that like, GameStop only have one in America and they're giving it away. Like it's in a box. Really? Yeah, it's on like. So they're not gonna have any here. I'm not sure. I thought it was just a one-off oh, from, like off. thing. I want that PlayStation. I'll trade me Wii one in for that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So any other news? Not really. But when it comes to it, like thinking of fucking like Anthem's breaking shit. Yeah. Mm. Like games are shitting the bed a lot lately. Fallout seventy six shit the bed completely. Yeah, it's there's so a few. Bad. There's a few games that are, aren't doing so well now. Do you think? Like the way games are going out because games developers, the publishers, not developers, publishers are trying to go for games as a service, mm-hmm. which is online only and you get updated, so you have a roadmap. Yeah. So, like, here's the game, here's what's coming out for the year. It's like, well, you know what's coming out for the year, why not just release it all in one go instead of like what, like DLCs and stuff? That's what, yeah. So, here's the roadmap, here's what's for the here's what we have planned for the game. It was like, well, if it's planned for the game, and why not just make it? money that's why yeah so that's so the thing they goes, yeah. drag it out so they yeah. can make more money basically and then you have rushed games getting put out on release dates or are promised and then you have games like Fallout 76 and Anthem coming out which are just yeah, I think the pro- everyone's just fucking all the d- publishers are just clambering over each other to release their games and, and be they, better and it's but, all competition as well but that's I suppose it's not working well for the, for the industry it's geek. like why not like do you, do you think my question to you is, do you think that they have an over-reliance on day one patches now? That do doesn't matter. what? They have an over-reliance, like, reliance, like re- they're relying too much on the day one patch. Like, get oh. the game out and we'll just patch an update in as soon as the game comes out. So, what's, what's day one, when the game release? That like, is that not a good thing? Well, why is the game not done? Like, why yeah. is your game not finished? They are handy because you need them. Okay, you need, but people are relying on them, I think. So, for example, the Witcher. Yeah, but, that, but the thing is, is, because of the internet and making games like that to accommodate that you know what i mean like whereas before the internet and all that when they made games they were there wasn't they were done they were yeah. done properly so you know why I mean? could you not why where did we where is where, the where's because the of, drop? because it's all fucking because of the competition and the market and the, the worldwide demand 
So oh, no. are you happy paying 70 quid for the game that people are putting out going? Well, it's broken, but we'll fix it in time. No, but like. Then why is that? Some, not, yeah, but you can't, like, not, they're not ex- necessarily broken. Well, The Witcher came out. Yeah, and that the was really reliable patch need that you needed was to stop you from falling through the map. And Geralt didn't die. Well, I never. I because you had the patch. Well, then I must have had it when I got the game. The like, patch, you know what I mean? Geralt died. Well, in fairness, yeah, yeah, I didn't, didn't, I didn't get the witch when it first came out. You had to pause and load. Your map, you say Geralt just infinitely fell in the yeah, grey yeah. void, so it wasn't like all the way from the, like GTA. Sometimes, but that never around. happened to me in the game. I never because experienced. The, the I did experience a, a shitload yeah, of other patches. Because the patches come out. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about like little bugs you might find where like. But that's what I don't understand. How did they not? How that's a pretty big fucking mistake. <laughs> like a, it's a pretty big bug. So how the fuck did they not have that patched already before they released the game? Because so, release something dates? like that affects the fucking game. You release know what dates? I, mean? I don't know. I don't know. Well, either way, it was patched, which. The Witcher is a f- an amazing game. Do you know what I mean? So like, that that's a poor example. <laughs> is it though? Because they did make that a hell of a lot better. But the game came out and said, "No, we'll fix it in patches." So yeah, well that way, was that's poxy. Sh- but you shouldn't be spending seventy quid on the game, and they're gonna go, "We'll just put a day one patch out, fix this, fix that, do this, do that." I suppose yeah, but like, whereas if you had a PS two, all the way back to whatever you got the game, well it didn't you work. got the game and it was just the game. That was it, and then. There wasn't a lot of crap in it that would bug out if it was a well, like a proper game, not like crappy fucking. End like San Andreas or something. Yeah, that a lot of stuff behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were constantly testing. Like that was a big old game, and there's not a lot of stuff. bugs in that game when you actually think about it. And then, like, there was just hidden stuff, and that game was so much stuff. There's stuff hidden on it. You have to, un- yeah. you have to need to unlock like the hot coffee fucking but that's mod bu- stuff. Bu- like again, that times were different. You know what I mean? Like, it's but the standard, no... wait, the standards have dropped though. They've dropped like, because if of the San Andreas, high If San Andreas came out now, would all that stuff, like, would there be patches in it? Like, oh, shit. We patched the thing where we go to Reuters house, all of a sudden, every NPC looks like Reuter. We're working on it. We knew <laughs> about it. We were hoping to get it fixed before the, when the game came out with a patch. I don't know. And like, you paid 70 yeah, quid for this. I, there's good pros and cons to both. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, we need it. Would so, you rather wait? Oh, I would have because I'm, I'm a patient gamer. I haven't bought a brand new game in donkeys. Oh yeah, what well, would I rather wait for them to take their time on a game? It's gonna take an extra six months to a year, but it's gonna be you won't need a day one patch. Yeah, I'd wait for that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, like that'd be alright. Well, provided that they stick to their word, you know what I mean, and it does come out perfect. Yeah, not like without needing any patches. I mean, you know what I mean. Other people with, with everything as well. I, th- I think because of Twitter and all that, and people have direct access to devs and all that. They just hound them like Apex came out. Apex isn't even out a fucking month. It's only about that's a, a fairly month. solid game. Though. Apex was about, about a month, and there was a tweet on the Reddit, and someone said, "Hey, what's uh, your man Vince Capella? I think his name is something to do with respawn." He goes, "Hey, what's um, what's the update on on what's the news? What's the update?" He goes, "On what?" And he goes, "On the battle pass." So as in like a team where you boy you got all the content, no boy. Yeah. And he goes, "Well, the game's not even out four weeks." And you're asking me, relax, like we're working on it. Like the game's not even out, like a, like a fucking wet day, and you're going. But this is what. What's the story with that fucking update? Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't have that back then as well. Like just relax, wait, don't get bored. But yeah, but it's not like you and me as grand. We we're different. We're patient, but like a lot of the younger generations aren't. You know what I mean? And it shows. Like, oh, I was like, will you game. calm the fuck down? Move on to something else. But because of all that high demand, that's what's fucking it up. You know what I mean? That's what's fucking everybody up. Because I don't know. I think it's just a sad state of affairs. The gaming industry is absolutely fucking killing itself, and they yeah. don't care because all you want is money. Well, that's yeah. A lot of developers got that's, lost their jobs. Money, you know, a lot of developers was... lost their jobs. Like EA, a respawn is a respawn. Shit, I can't remember. I think it was respawn. Somebody just sacked about six hundred people for what? To make it because just for making profit. So what? Yeah. So like, what you can't, do you mean for you making profit? You don't pay for making too much money. Good luck. No, as in the, they're sacking people because the amount of money they made last year. Yeah. They can't make this year, so they're sacking people because they can't reach the same profit margin. Oh, right, right. If you get a good example is if you release a game, yeah, and every single person on this planet bought that game, mm-hmm. every single person bought that game, you have 7.6 billion players. Yeah, next year you're not going to get the same thing because you're not going to get every single person to buy it again because you can't top it. I'm not not saying, the same thing. The, I was, don't, I was, don't say, oh, well, there's more population, more people are born. Just taking it out of example. 
in a year's time, how can you top it if every single person bought it last year? You can't. Mm. So the way they see it is, well, if you can't do it last year, you're going to end up getting a loss. So what they what to do is they're going to cut expenses on the door end. So you don't have to pay 600 people, you're going to make a profit in your bottom line, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's all he cared about. Yeah, all he cared about is games as a service. All he cared about is just making money. And it's shit. But clearly, it's like, like, it's crap. Again, so don't buy Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> if you finally be a PlayStation, Back to that, don't yeah, buy So, like, they don't give a fuck. They're literally making games now that break your PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, like, I don't know. No, play a good game. That fucking... No, it's a good game. What? The Momo game. All the kids are playing. <laughs> oh, fuck that play the Momo thing. What's the story with that joke? Momo's a hoax. Seen a funny meme, though, with Momo's face on, on Michael Jackson. Shamomo. Oh, Shamomo. <laughs> Shamomo, <laughs> motherfuckers. Momo's a hoax. Momo is not getting into yeah, your kids' That's Fortnite a lot of game. shy people. It's not in your kids' Fortnite. It's not in your kids' YouTube. Don't worry about it. It's... Yeah, and if you do... It's a happened to get a message from something called Momo. It's somebody acting the bollocks yeah. with a fake page proposing us this Momo thing. I mean, keep it You shouldn't be putting stuff up on uh, Facebook going, hey, parents, beware. Like, this is going on. Don't tell it. Just, just be watching your kids. If your kid has a tablet under that age, what are you doing? Like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your yeah, kid? Well, in fairness, there's plenty of fucking parental blocks and all that shit that wouldn't that would stop that. Now, like, there's, there was there was Facebook on a face WhatsApp messages between like the Momo and all oh, that. Yeah, and I got tagged in it. It wasn't. It was a. It was. It was a fucking. Anybody mobile, could be Momo on no, WhatsApp. It wasn't even WhatsApp. It's a mobile game. Like we, it's WhatsApp is the game, and you press either an A and B response. Oh right. But L ones don't know that. L ones are going, Oh my god, it's on WhatsApp. Yeah, well yeah, the old and generations <laughs> are gas on the internet. What's man. a Momo? Oh then people on Facebook are funny that believe it all the shit like Mummy Mom's watch out with my seven year old is playing. I can game. only imagine and their phones and laptops must be riddled with viruses <laughs> from just <laughs> clicking into everything. But they believe, like <laughs> riddled with viruses the and then they go playing. What's wrong with me computer? <laughs> Stop clicking on fucking all this pop up shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you see it. It's that hard to realise, yeah, this is a hoax. If you're giving out that your place, uh, your place, if you're giving out your Facebook's getting hacked. It's probably because you're clicking on what type of fucking tongue or what type of fucking celebrity you are and they give, yeah, give access to these fucking Sorry. Saudi Arabian fucking apps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Where, what will your life be in, in the next five years and all? It's like, <laughs> what? You don't let Facebook tell you that? <laughs> what celebrity is texting you? Fair enough, it might be a bit of crack, but yeah, again, <laughs> the shit that you're clicking on is riddled with fucking words. <laughs> What celebrity is texting you and it's just like a really badly crushed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ones with Conor McGregor and Conor McGregor. Donald Trump. Put Answer up. your phone, I'm in coppers, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> that fella is a legend. Ah, oh, Facebook, <laughs> Conor McGregor told me I was a legend. Boy, <laughs> LOL, that or yeah, or something yeah, like that. Like, fuck it. <laughs> As if Conor's sitting at home with about 50 laptops around him <laughs> talking to the world, going, I love everybody, do you know what I mean? Oh, it's fucking. Oh, Jesus. How do people believe that shit? <laughs> Margaret McGuire, you're a fucking gorgeous. Yeah, some <laughs> random Fan. fucking... 50 missed yeah, calls Yeah, they're just Bradley automated Huber. fucking machines. And you're wondering people. why you're getting fucking phone calls off fucking Slovakia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Eating all your credit and fucking... Just stop everything. doing it. I just I do yeah. love the ones where the like, mammies are afraid of mama. Does oh, Twitter have all that shit? I'm not on Twitter. So. A, lot, a lot of Russian bots. And bots. Oh, is it? Yeah. But uh, I couldn't stop laughing at the... Um, because I went, I started looking on Mammy's pages, like when the Momo came around, just how ridiculous they were. As in how people sharing them, clueless. As in Mammy, like beware stuff. Mm. And people like Momo was in Fortnite. It's like no, no, no. How was Momo? Yeah, he's a player. There's, there's no, she's there's a player no, on it. <laughs> a billion dollar she, fucking game has not been hacked by Momo. Momo. <laughs> it's someone on a mic telling kids to fuck off. <laughs> like, but, oh, dude, yeah, but like what? Even the same things. Like just, think about it though. The sexual the fuck, even if on, say for example, there's Momo thing. Like there's probably people out there that are bad. I get it. Who is it? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean, who the fuck is this weirdo? We're not saying that. Uh, just like I'm you pretty shouldn't. sure they'd find that person. If there was somebody on the internet telling kids to harm themselves, yes. the police would fucking trace them. Do you know what I mean? We're not saying don't monitor your kids online. Especially on do Fortnite. You. Yeah, do <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but if you're on Fortnite, you come across a kid. I'm just saying, more than likely, if you think someone made sexual advances towards a kid on Fortnite, they didn't. It's another 12 year old tell them to fuck off and suck their dick and they roll your mat. Possibly, that's yeah. it. Like, I take doubt. us. We grew up in the well, area. It's not, of, yeah, it's not impossible but that there I'm are fucking weirdos on games. But like, nine point nine times out of ten, 
It's people getting annoyed. Yeah, basically, there's, there's, there's a small chance that your child is going to be abducted from Fortnite. <laughs> or, or do something like that, you know what I mean? That's that's crazy. But I'm just saying, as well, we grew up playing online games. Like, we, All our we played lives. Modern Warfare 2 online. I can tell you right now, the amount of people who have claimed to have slept with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck your mom. <laughs> so... Yeah, so yeah, it's all, just it's saying, not Momo, it's some 12 year old. It's a 12 year old getting mad at your kid because yeah. they just won't stop building or whatever. There's no. There's some 12 year olds go as far as making fake Momo pages and start <laughs> hassling you. That's how that's how rage these motherfuckers get nowadays. But thankfully, it's all gone now. It has died down the bits again. Because re- do you not remember? Were you? It was out like two years ago. Yeah, because I took a, I took a screenshot of Momo, Momo yeah, and I put it in the chat group. It was a picture. I remember the, that. Yeah, it was a picture of our gosses and part of the chat group, and I just put the yolk sign. In. And it was also fucking at one stage. I think it was part of one of those chain messages. I was like, "This is Momo. If you don't forward it, Momo's gonna haunt you," <laughs> or some shit like that. So Momo is a jack of all trades, yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> and all, Momo looks like it's been like on it. Momo's the king scam artist, right? Yeah, Momo's on a sesh. Momo's been on it. <laughs> on it for the last week. <laughs> oh, he's Will you get another one? <laughs> <laughs> That's how Momo looks at you. When it's six in the morning and you're sitting around the kitchen table going, we get another one. Yeah, that's bell, Momo. <laughs> bell down boards again there. That's, that's what I mean. Mo, Momo bags. Yeah. <laughs> Mo bags. Mo bags, come on. Mo money, Will Mo we get Mo Momo? Momo? Will we get Momo? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Momo, right? You cracked it. All you par- gullible parents out there. I'm not even a parent, for fuck's sake. Stop believing in that shit. No, like, it's just, it's so funny the fact that you think, like, Fortnite, Epic Games, a billion dollar fucking franchise yeah. has been hacked. Look, just monitor your kids on games. Just monitor your to kids do. in general. It's Stop not that fucking other hard. Parents. Do you know what I mean? Stop scaremongering shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking idiots. Anyway, rant over. Bit of rants. rants. Went, went into a bit of rants there. <laughs> yeah. Which was the last podcast we did before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it was uh, a fucking... This is just a really quick thing. Um, so I said, now that we, we made our little soundtrack, we've made... We've changed our picture. We have, yeah. We've, 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 been, we've been getting the ball rolling now. We've on, cracked on the case of Momo, so don't worry about that anymore, parents. <laughs> So yeah, we've also got guests coming on. We've had Tom and Anthony already. Yeah, brother. And we the reason why we made the podcast, as you yeah. said, on it as well. Oh, exactly, yeah. Shout out to Tom for that, yeah. Cheers, man. Well, I'm better. But... Um, yeah, so, and then we have, uh, one of our next guests will be a girl called Nadine Flynn, who is a fantastic writer that I know, and well, was being very lucky to be cast in one of our plays recently, called Pork. Um, she is currently now working in RTE as a writer, a writer or an editor. Sorry, Nadine, if I don't get this right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you, she'll correct it when she's on, but she is also a hardcore girl gamer. Gamer. And I mean, one of the Gamer. She, like that meaning she's big into games, you know what I mean? Girl like, gamer. In that we, sense. Are we boy gamers? Like we're hardcore gamers in the sense that we're big into the the gaming world. That's what I mean. But anyway, she's coming on and there'll be a few interesting topics. Like one of one of the things that we were chatting about that we're gonna discuss is girls' views girls perspective, basically a girl gamer's perspective mm. online and stuff like that. Because one of the for example, one of the things she she told me that as girls are constantly getting mistaken for like little boys <laughs> and stuff like that. Or for a girl, I'm assuming like times it's a bit creepy. You know what I mean? Like you got all those weirdos. Yeah, like, as soon as you know there's a girl in the game, the fucking they get flooded out of it. Like you know what I mean? So we talk about funny things like that and getting her view. That'd be funny. So shout out to the day. As Looking a, forward this to seeing podcast it. hasn't happened yet. Like, this could be a pure serious conversation. Like, we no. like, like well, I hope. It, I hope not. As soon as people find out I'm a girl, it's like and it's like flashbacks. <laughs> you know, like now flashbacks. Now flashbacks. It just zooms in. And, you know, the message nah, only come going. Bing, 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 bing. I don't know. You know, there'll be there'll be ups and downs. I'm assuming. So that'll be that's that's something to look forward to. We've also got. <laughs> do you think they're a twelve year old boy? They do, that, but that's what she told me. That's fucking, what Nadine told me. Like fucking Momo when you meet up, <laughs> bollocks! You're not a little kid. I'm like why you're like ten and all? She's like no, I'm a girl. You know what I mean? That's what she told me. Anyway, so Momo was left to. It'd be interesting to get our perspective on that, like, because I'm sure there's plenty of other girls out there that can relate to it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's just that we won't go on. T- we won't harp on too much. I think like fucking fifty percent of these podcasts are going. Here's what's going to happen next. Well, no. Not really. We haven't been talking about Momo there. <laughs> no, as in, like, sprinkled in the discussion, like, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway, we've got 
We've got plans and stuff. We're getting the ball rolling on the lights. We're and happy. Stuff like we're that. starting to revamp now. We're happy with it, and mm. we're gonna keep at it. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna start designing my own little sketch art and stuff. I'm gonna start make, drawing cartoons of me and Louis and stuff like that. So when we put that up, any feedback is is welcome. Yeah. On that, see how he's like the imagery. Don't be afraid. I mean, there's already like three hundreds on that page. Don't be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we thought we keep this one quick and simple and nice and just, quick. Yeah. Brief. This no, is brief. this is the just in case we don't get the DNA in this week. I can we can put this out this week. Yeah, we can put this one out. And anyway, either way. So also happy pancake Tuesday. Oh yeah, shit! Sure. I'll be making pancakes. pancakes. Fucking Tuesday. I'll be making right? pancakes. I'm making them big fucking flip floppy foreskin crepes that you call pancakes. Yeah, hang on. There's nothing wrong with them now. Why do they're I crepes. make them? Yeah, they're, they're not... crepes. I was raising them thinking they're pancakes. It's still the same thing. And then crepe look, is a pancake. And then I look at like cartoons and they got these big stacks with a little square of butter. You have on to top. have that maple syrup. Though. And I'm like, they're pancakes. I want them. That's a cartoon. I want them. And then we get. A stack of orange pancakes. Yeah, but they're nice, like, man. My dad used to make them yeah, all the time. I can make See, them. See, there's different... But you, they're crepes. They go nice with different things. Like, you put a bit of butter and sugar on them, and they'll wobble. But on the thick, fluffy pancakes, you have to slaughter them with maple syrup. Or a bit of honey or something. Oh, um, probably a... So, probably an unpopular opinion. Maybe some Nutella. Probably an unpopular opinion, but if you put lemon on your... Uh, lemon juice on your pancakes, you're an absolute fucking... Yeah, I don't like that either. You're an absolute fucking scumbag. Uh, I agree with that. I don't like lemon juice. It's I don't too... give a fuck what you say. If you have that little lemon thing that stays in your press and get break, breaks every <laughs> it sits year sits in your fridge for about one, 6 years yeah. one throw that mouldy piece of shit out and two you're an absolute fucking predator no <laughs> don't care fuck lemon juice fuck lemon juice on pancakes yeah I don't like that on pancakes myself it's not nice yep that's it's sugar that's sugar and butter that's how we know now chocolate people listening. <laughs> the influx and of all the lemon gone. people are be like what <laughs> fuck what you mean? mean what you mean <laughs> put a bit of lemon on that nail no no. Can't be doing it. Can't be doing it, right? <laughs> Fuck off, Jalem. I, mean, no, I actually thought you'd like lemon on pancakes. No, I thought man. this would have started a little debate going on. No. Now. This was a straight up attack. This is straight I'm up. <laughs> Fuck lemon people. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I actually, hang on. I hope lemon people isn't like a derogatory term that you use on the internet or something. <laughs> no, like people who put lemon juice on yeah, pancakes. Know, just just going, to clarify. I'm just going like, Fuck lemon people. And they're going, oh. Lemon people, we're literally searching lemon people. Lemon, <laughs> lemon. So I'm gonna get some fucked up porn on website now. What? Lemon, no, people, lemon not party. people, people, not party. Yeah, but I bet you something weird's gonna pop up. Always lemon does. people. Fuck lemon off. people is the sex work station hentai magnet. I fucking told you. What? Sex it's sex some sex? fucked up manga bleeding crazy Japanese. Is this Japanese sex? Yeah. It's harmful. Lemon people. It was... Uh, this is fucked up. What the fuck, man? <laughs> fuck the... Yeah, but anyway, I'm sticking to my guns, yeah. Fuck lemon people. There was people. a growing movement in Japan to censor magazines because some viewed them as harmful to young people. So fuck lemon people. What is lemon people? I don't know. Some crazy weird manga thing. Uh, <laughs> anybody that listens to this... You know what? Their, anybody that knows their anime be like, yeah, what's wrong with lemon people? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Anyway, the guards with the uh, no, you know what? It's only in the Megan's not mine, so that's on horse search history. Eleven people. <laughs> <laughs> FBI, anyway. open up. Yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so that's the weird. That's the internet again. Uh, all right, we're out. <laughs> let's finish up. Let's finish up here. Let's, let's keep we'll it leave it on that. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave his dwelling on. So the way it people. is, don't buy lemon people. Don't put lemon on your pancakes or whatever you fucking do. Don't get PS4. Do not buy anthem. <laughs> yeah, don't do that shit. If we ever start reviewing games, we are on EA's but do like, list right now. like and listen to the podcast and subscribe. Like, listen, subscribe, yes. If Cheers. you like this little beat, let us know because I can throw it up on the po- I can actually throw it up if what on our uh, Spotify, if you want. The little soundtrack thing? Yeah. Oh, cool. I won't, uh, well, as well as that, I'm actually, I have a few ideas for a couple more. Maybe we can mix and match on different podcasts. So we'll see. Anyway. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm choking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Cheers, that's, that's that for today. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Cheers, folks. And uh, as, as the saying goes, bit of bounce this, bit of bounce that, bit of bounce crack, bit of bounce what? What? I don't know. What the fuck thought. was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, cheers, Wes. Thanks again. Oh, well, Thanks man. for the beat, honestly. Yeah, no worries. Knocked that out in about less me. than an hour we did. And it was nice. It is. Nice little touch. Yep. And yeah, so take it easy. And if it's easy, take it home. Peace.